Hello, hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today's passage is out of Luke chapter 3, verse 11. And our story is about John the Baptist talking to a crowd of people. And what he's actually doing is he's telling them that if they're not repentant of their sins, they're actually destined for a life of hell. What his job is, is he's making a path clear and straight for Jesus and his good news to come in and reach these people. And when confronted with this truth, the people ask John the Baptist, what do we do now? And he says this in verse 11. John answered, Anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none. And anyone who has food should do the same. Giving and sharing is an extremely important piece of understanding the gospel. And so I have three thoughts for you so you can better understand what giving and sharing is and why it's important to your life and understanding the gospel. Number one, we give because we're commanded to. We are obedient to all that Christ has for us. And if, if stuff has a grip on us, a hold on us, then we need to do anything that we can to loosen that grip and follow Jesus. Because we should do everything we can to listen to the words of Jesus. The second thing is this. Give to free yourself from that excess. When we have all this clutter and stuff in our life, what it actually does is it distracts us from Jesus. It stops us from being able to focus in on what's important, which is following Jesus and his word and giving to those in need. And the third thing is this. When God calls us to give, when Jesus says, give freely, what he's actually doing is he wants you to understand the gospel better. And so what he does is he commands us to free ourselves from this stuff, to get rid of the distraction in our life, and to give to those who will never be able to give back to you so you understand what the gospel message, message truly is. Because once you understand this idea of giving without receiving anything in return, that's when you truly understand what Jesus has done for you. And so, Calvary, as you go off today, I hope that you have an opportunity to share, an opportunity to give, and I pray that you don't allow any of your stuff to hold you back from following God and being obedient to Him. Have a great day, Calvary. Be blessed.